it's Jenna that's me the Jenna from TNT welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing a uh, curry chicken my version of a uh, Chinese style curry chicken and this video is actually in collaboration with the lovely Rishmi taste of Chen Bago taste of Chinese on YouTube and she is one of those amazing cooks amazing kitchen person and from you know ever since we're watching YouTube videos she's been cooking up a storm and making all these delicious meals so we decided to do a collaboration and she's going to be doing her version of curry chicken and I'm going to be doing my version so you can check out her version on her channel I'll put the link down below to it and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy both of ours and feedback is always welcome all right so I have my chicken here now I already put some green seed in it but you'll notice that it's probably wondering what's this if it's duck but this is actually roasted chicken probably wondering why I'm using roasted chicken well to be honest with you when you roast your chicken and in a curry and a stew it adds so much more flavor to it so this is your regular chicken you buy but when you go to buy it you could just ask them to roast it for you and I'm telling you it's going to be adding a lot more flavor to your pot now to this I'm going to be adding some roasted jeera adding some achara masala and then I'm going to be using some hot hot curry in this and of course we add in some salt salt is something you can add you know you don't add too much when you're seasoning it you just add it um, closer to the end of cooking just to taste it to make sure so I don't like to give an exact amount of salt that I would use because of course you know it depends on your diet and if you can eat a lot of salt so you just have to adjust it accordingly so start with a little bit and then coming down to the end of it just check it for salt and add if you need to so what we're going to do is just mix this all up and we want to let it sit and marinate now if you don't have the time to let it marinate that's fine you can go ahead and cook it one time but I just think when you let meat marinate it's a lot more flavor to it Alright, so to start off, I have my oil that is heating in my pot. And what I'm going to do is add my some chopped onions and pepper. I have the heat on low right now. I just want to cook it until the onions are tender. And then I'm going to be adding in a combination, a mixture of hot curry, hot hot curry some anchoa masala and some roasted jeera. Now on low heat what you want to do is just toast the curry powder mixture until it's a nice and dark color and it's nice and green. You want to keep the heat on low because you don't want it to burn. You want to keep a little water handy too. So what you're going to do is just add a little. You just want to keep cooking it until you see it nice and grainy. This is what brings out the flavor in the curry powder. And it you don't have to do this step. I know that there are some um, people who just season the meat with the curry and just add that to the pot of oil. But this way to me adds just a little more flavor to it. Just adding in some curry leaves. Now this you can add to the when you add the oil. But you put in your curry leaves in there too. And now I'm going to be adding my seasoned chicken. You want to pour, mix everything nicely so all the chicken pieces are nicely coated with that curry mixture that is just smelling so fantastic right now. Right, so now that all the pieces are nicely coated, I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let this cook through because chicken springs a lot of water. So I'm going to let cover this for about a five minutes or so and let all the, the chicken spring its water and then we're going to let it dry down and add some more water to it 
some more green seasoning and let it cook through it's not that hard to make a delicious taste and chili style pot of curry chicken so we're leaving it on low and we're just going to cover it right so five minutes into cooking and you're seeing how much water there is and now i'm going to just leave this uncovered leave the pot uncovered you want to let all that water dry down and then we are going to be adding some more water just to finish uh cook it all right so most of the water is gone and before it starts sticking now we can add in some more water just enough to cover it and i'm just going to cover the pot we want to cook it for about 25 minutes until most of this water is uh, gone from it for the pot and it depends on how much sauce you want in your curry chicken so we're going to cover it leaving the heat up on medium and leaving it for 10-15 minutes all right so it's 10 minutes this is what it looks like and I'm now going to leave it uncovered leave the pot uncovered and cook it through until most of the water has been reduced and there's just enough sauce to eat with your roti or dal and rice and at this point what you want to do is just add some green seasoning to your pot just give it a quick stir there and just let it cook down all right guys and now this is what looks like most of the water gone this is how much sauce i want in it but if you want a drier curry chicken you can just let it uh, cook down some more but this to me is exactly how i want it so this is about 30 minutes later it took about 35 40 minutes max to cook a delicious uh, curry chicken of a chili style curry chicken so you saw that i roasted the chicken it's a little bit different but you should try it if you have not done so in the past give it a try it adds a lot of flavor to your dish to your pot you're gonna love it and shout out to alibaba that's where i get all my chicken from they are on our roundways main road so you can check them out and don't forget to check out reshmi from taste of trini her youtube channel i'll post the link down below her version of curry chicken as well and uh, everybody has their own unique way some do it almost exactly the same way you could decide on your method, whichever you you know you prefer. It's all up to you. Just have fun in the kitchen, cook away, experiment as much as you want. So that is all for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with all your friends and your family. And also look up a lot more videos to come. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.